cold water, and canine heat stroke. Summer is ramping up here in the United States, and every summer there's some questionable advice that's shared on the internet about what to do if your dog experiences heat stroke. Specifically, how should you cool off your dog? This is a little bit older, but it is fantastic. It's a presentation that happened at Wasava about management of heat stroke in dogs. These dogs tend to have a core temperature of 105.8 Fahrenheit or higher. However, they can have normal temperatures or actually low temperatures, particularly if owners tried to cool at home prior to bringing them into the clinic. But having that low body temperature on presentation was a poor prognostic indicator. It's always recommended to cool your dog before bringing them into the ER or on the way to the ER. And things like water baths and fans can help. Now let's talk about using ice. This can cause cutaneous vasoconstriction, which makes it harder for them to dissipate that heat. And you should stop cooling them when their temperature reaches 103. And cooling helps to prevent further cellular destruction. And something that I wanna point out, which I didn't see in this, is not to use alcohol for similar reasons that we don't use ice on the body. And while it's not common, I've seen patients lose toes. So in summary, you should absolutely try and cool your pet off on the way to the ER, but please don't dunk them in ice cold baths and make sure you keep a close eye on their temperature if you are trying to cool on the way.